Uh, Malakath's Shrine. Alright, so we wanted to go ahead and explore everything that is nearby. We want to hit all these little, uh, points. Oh, I think I saw- yeah, that's right, the p people from the camp. Um, hi everyone, welcome to my corner of the internet. My name is Gwen, and today we're back with some more of the Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion. Uh, last time, we kind of set off on adventure! I just wanted to go ahead and explore and start, uh, you know, filling in a little bit of this, of this wilderness, uh, and see what's out here, because I've kind of been largely ignoring it, sticking to the roads and stuff, and it's been a while since I just wandered, so that's what we're doing today. So today I wanted to uh, do a little bit of exploring of uh, both the wilderness and of ideas. I want to... I want to... Uh, <laughs> I want to go over things a little bit here. Uh, so some thoughts I've had. Um, so anyways, last time, I believe it was last time, um, I had a bit of a... Uh, <laughs> I had a bit of a, I will say, an incident. Uh, where I, uh, I ate some feet, man. It was, mmm. Uh, I, uh, we came across the, the orcs at the, the Shrine of Malakath. And I made this, this comment where I was like, uh, oh, orkies! That's what it was. And, oh, there's two of them, okay. So I'm gonna have to be, uh, be cautious here. Uh, ooh, 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 ooh there's three of them. All right, let's. Uh, these two are looking at each other. I could pick that one off over here. No, I don't. I can't kill them. <laughs> um, no, there's no way I'm gonna get that. Get that. What, why am I sneaking so slowly? I've got invisibility on. All right, let's see if I can. Uh, oh darn it! All right. Oh no 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 no. Okay. Oh wait. Holy crap! Can I? Can I? Hit and run tactic. Illusion skill increase. Oh, I, oh, out in the open, I can play with the uh, illusion uh, invisibility. Oh, okay, I can't get the second uh, sneak attack in though. That's unfortunate. Um. Anyways, but it does uh, does uh, present a bit of uh, an opportunity to uh, to do some fun hit and run here. What? I, I wait. I believe I've taken uh, some damage. What, what what is currently being damaged? Drain fatigue. Okay. Uh, that's fine. Okay. Yeah. You 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 run around a bit. Uh, you look. I'll just. Damn. I've lost. <laughs> oh yeah. That that is that is that is a that is a fun way to do things. I'm not gonna do that for the entire fight. Uh, I'm gonna. <laughs> Starting to see things. Yes. I am just a figment of all of your imaginations. <laughs> okay, anyways, um, I'll probably break up my bow, and, uh, actually, wait, hold up. Where's the other one? There was three. I was wondering, I'm like, can I draw one away? Just by being visible to one of them? Hey, look, I'm over here! Oh, you can't even see me in the grass. Oh, but he can! Yeah, that's, that's cool. Die. All right. Anyways, huh? did you do? Come out ah! see you. Uh, all right. Come on. Okay. Two, two, two of them's better than. Uh... Today you die. Ah! Ow! 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 Um. So. <laughs> so. Maybe. Maybe. Uh. Deciding to jump into a fight like this um, was not the uh, smartest idea. Oh darn it. I didn't hold down the button long enough All right, we're just gonna kite this guy around and air him. So Anyways, I uh, I almost cut out to that that section. I was like, oh, you know, I don't like that I don't like that <laughs> Why because uh, well, it's, it's an uncomfortable right because we what that actually like let, let's 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 call it what it is um, it, as interesting as it is, it's, uh, that is an example, we'll say, in-game racism, because I, uh, I, I, I had made, I had made a comment earlier in, uh, my playthrough about when I was looking for a blacksmith, and, uh, I was like, oh, you know, uh, orcs, um, they're, 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 they're good at that, and that is, a, like, a stereotype generalization based off of, um, how orcs are typically depicted in, um, 
uh, in in lore and fantasy and writing and stories and stuff like that. And uh, I don't know where the body fell. Darn it, I want the loot. Um, I don't remember where I took him out. Darn it! I don't know where the loot went. Anyways, but nevertheless, that was uh, that was an example of uh, you know me uh, falling back on um, stereotypes and, like I said, on 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 what I've learned and known of orcs through you know all kinds of media and all right. Um, and, you know, by the very statement, it is, it, it was one of, uh, if you actually stop and process where that comes from, like, I, I tried to, like, be like, well, if it was, like, elves or something like that, I would have said, I'm like, no, no, you wouldn't have. No, you wouldn't have, because, let, let's be honest, orcs, the way they're depicted in media, you don't view them, uh, this, uh, the same way. You, you have automatic assumptions about orcs because of... How, you know, how you see them in Lord of the Rings. You see them in, in all kinds of media. Um, they are, they're always, you know, brutish. They're always dumb. Uh, like, th there's all these, these, these stereotypes and stuff about them. And which caused my, re my response to seeing them to be one of, like, uh, there was a belittling nature to that. Like, oh, you're, they're so cute. Like, it's orcs. Let's, 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 let's use orkies as a little term. Like, and... Like, it, uh, I had, got, uh, like, um, like I said, I had made a comment about the blacksmith thing, and I, I had got called on it, um, Grant Exploit, I believe it was, um, and I was like, you know what, you're absolutely right, uh, which I found absolutely, uh, fascinating. Where's that camp? We're going back to that camp. I can take on the last one, maybe with my, uh, my fist. Maybe with my fists. Yeah, let's see. Uh, I, I don't know where the first one went. Now you will know pain. Ah! Um, ah! 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 Trying to disarm. Ah! Ah! Good miss there, Alexis. Good miss. Um. And so, like, like I said, I wanted to actually just. Oh, there we go. Disarmed. Oh, now. You you pick up where you fall down and bleed to death. You pick up your weapon way too quickly, just saying. <laughs> See, I, the thing is I need to take damage so I can repair my armor so that I can start using my really good weapons. There we go. Um Ooh, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Magnifying gauntlets, fortify security, ten points on self. Crystal and Quiris. Chameleon 30% on self! Uh, hold on, people. Hold on. Hold the phone. We're grabbing that. We're grabbing that. We're grabbing that. What the heck is a dwarven tube? I don't know. It has no value and no weight. Is this a quest item? Sounds like it might be a quest item. Let's take it. I don't think it's a quest item. Uh, but I am over encumbered. Uh, so let's get the healing back on us. So... Uh, anyways, I wanted to get rid of it because I'm like that that that's very <laughs> nope nobody wants th that example of I forgot to change my face. So anyways, like I didn't I, I didn't want to <laughs> you don't want to keep that out there because that that's kind of uncomfortable. Be like hey look hey here's an example of of me uh, exercising some racism. Um, I, like albeit not to an actual race, but it kind of uh, I kind of wanted to highlight it because one um, if you're gonna point fingers at others, you should be able to be willing to point them at yourself and. The fact of the matter is that I'm over encumbered. Uh, glass is worth quite a bit. I could sell this crap. All right, let's just. But I don't want to sell the crap. I want to. I don't want to go back to town. I just came all the way from town. Okay, you know what? Screw it. I'm running back to town. <laughs> I'm running back to the town, and I'm gonna sell this crap. Why? Because it's, it's 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 money. It is money, and I can use. I could use the money. Um, I guess I could. I just spent a ton on on uh, on a house, right? 
So I'm gonna like traverse my way across invisibly without so I don't get interrupted by monsters and crap. Uh, and I'll, I'll make the- you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go and while I'm traversing- I'll keep talking and then I will edit my voice over the edit and we'll do some- we'll do some magic work here to make it seem like, uh, like, like nothing's happened and everything is seamless or something like that. I don't know. Anyways. Um. It kind of go- see, and I know people are gonna give me crap because people always give me crap for this one point I make. I- I- I, I often talk about, um, the idea that, uh, I don't like- I- I tend to like to treat NPCs in the game like I would, like, people. I- where, like, I'm like, I- I- I understand there's a difference between a game world and reality. I'm not an idiot. I am perfectly capable of discerning reality versus, uh, versus a game. But the thing is, I still have those parts of me that don't want to be mean to uh, people in a game. Uh, who don't want to... Uh, this kind of touches on a little bit of a discussion I have uh, in some of my... Actually, by the time you hear this, I don't know if... I don't know if it'll be on uh, my Hardcore Gamer series yet. Um, well, you should, should check that out. I play, I play a variety of games in that one. Um, but where I talk about how... I feel empathy for, like, the NPCs and the, the characters in games that I'm playing with. Despite the fact that, yes, I recognize that they are game characters. But a pleasure to speak with you. The thing is, I also feel that... Interest you in some of my fine ways. Yes, consciously we can make that distinction, but subconsciously, I still feel like our brain... Our brain is kind of dumb. We, we, we've kind of gotten to a point where we can... Um, we, we think we've wrangled our brain. Uh, we, we think we can, you, you know, guide it and stuff, but the fact, the fact is that our brain is kind of at its base level, kind of primitive. Uh, and it reuses a lot of the same, we'll say, functions and processes to, you know, process things. Uh, it, uh, it likes to, uh, you know, reuse ways of thinking about things. And, you know, that's with, like, pattern recognition and, and all that. And we saw that very same example. Uh, when we saw how I reacted to, um, the, 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 the orcs in the last episode. Because, like, uh, like I said, that is, hands down, that is an, an example of racism. And the reason why I feel like a that is concerning is because it shows my brain's own natural, um, tendencies. Okay. It wants to, it, 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 uh, detects a pattern or it, uh, gets information from outside sources, and, um, it, it creates these profiles, and it, that's, um, all right. Uh, as of where my voice is currently now, uh, I've actually just repaired my stuff and, uh, bought more repair hammers and sold my things, and I'm heading back. Um, and as a result of this sort of gap, I'm, uh, I forgot where I was, but, um, basically, oh yeah, I think it was something about, like, the processes in our brain, we, we tend to reuse them. Uh, and I did that very same thing with how I've seen orcs depicted. And because as much as we like to, we like to act all tall and mighty and like, oh, I'm not, you know, like, <laughs> I'm not racist, I'm not this, I'm not that. We, we, or, or it's just a game. Like, yes, it is just a game. Um, but I think, you know, on a subconscious level, the, the way we react in these games a lot of times is based on the way we also process the world. Like, in a way, you can kind of glimpse at yourself while playing the game. The way you behave in a game, I'm not saying that everyone is a, a complete sociopath, but, um, like, if, if you think about it, <laughs> and like I said, I'm gonna get, I get, I get a lot, I always get, get somebody who, like, wants to, like, treat me like some dolt, um, because I, um, because I talk about games like they're real life. Uh, I understand the difference. Um, but if, 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 if you think about it, let's abstract things a little bit here. When you're saying it's just a game, um, that is, if you think about it, it's kind of the same process we use for dehumanization, right? You're, you're excusing, you're creating a, a, a part of your mind, or you're, you're, excu you're allowing part of your mind uh, the part that feels empathy and stuff for others, 
to kind of go to the wayside. You're saying it's okay not to feel empathy for this for X reason. Um, and so that's why, like, even, even if I'm showing a, a, a form of, we'll say, racism, um, in a game towards a fictional race, that bothers me because it, it uh, reveals, um, something that could happen to me in real life based off of the way my brain processes things. And I think if I don't, um, if I don't confront that, if I don't, oh, go away, I'm, I'm talking right now, um, I don't, I don't know where the, the video is going to be matching up with my voice, but I, 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 my invisibility just wore off and something is chasing me. Uh, but I, I want to stay invisible, so, um, we're just gonna keep running back to roughly where we were. Anyways, um, and so I think part of, part of the reason why I wanted to, one, keep that part of the video in, and the reason why I wanted to come back to that topic here, as, as uncomfortable as it is, because nobody wants to say the words, hey, I was being racist, um, because there's, there is this stigma about not admitting fault. Like, there's this, this thing with just, don't ever do that. But if you're not ever willing to interrogate yourself, then you can't get better. And the fact of the matter is we're all human and we all have these, these brains that are just really complicated pattern recognition machines. That's all they are, really. We, 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 we determine patterns, we find patterns, and we, we just, we, we go, we go to town with it. And, um, sometimes the effect of that is not great. And I think that, yes, being aware of that, the fact that it is a game, that's making a conscious, like, determination. And that is smart, being able to look at, uh, the difference, like, being able to look at that and say, yes, this is this and this is this, and that is taking a critical look at something. I think it's also important to understand the reasons why we think the way we think and even though it's in a game those same patterns can reflect themselves in real life all right um all right i should be back i should be back at the camp at this point hopefully i've synced that up well in editing hi future me um um hope you hope you do a good job sorry for making more work for you um so yeah uh, that's why i wanted to um bring that up and someone will uh no doubt roll their eyes at me for for, for for caring too much about game characters, um, but uh, it's it's not necessarily the game characters I'm worried about. It's um, how people in real life can be impacted by uh, the processes that go on in my mind, and I uh, want to keep them in check. I think that is important. I should have sold all the other gems and crap that I had come across, but uh, I decided that I don't know. I kept I kept these gems. That okay? Sure. Good job, me. Uh, I'm gonna make some potions to. Uh, the lighten the load a bit. Okay, I was just mixing some potions, and I noticed that I, I, I chose grapes. I chose grapes and I believe ectoplasm, because they both have a damage uh, health effect on them. But I noticed here, uh, nope, not mutton, I meant, um, where's, where, I, I misclicked, where's the, okay, grapes. Um, it, what goes, prioritizes the dispel, and then the damage. And I suspect that is because, yeah, the dispel effect is higher. So, the primary effect is likely the one that is higher up on the list. Now, I mean, this makes total sense, but I never actually made the conscious, um, it never consciously actually crossed my mind. Um, so that is something, uh, uh, interesting to, uh, think about. Now, does that mean if I were to, uh, let's say I want to make something that is absolutely, um, a poison. I would want to find something where the, the the negative effect is as high on the list as possible. Because there's also the secondary effects that I get applied. You saw that there was the spell and damage health. Now, if the result were flipped, would that mean that I would be putting damage health on somebody and dispel on myself? Actually, yeah, that's interesting. Why why can I not turn that into a poison? Why does it have to be a dispel? I guess dispel is seen as a positive effect when you could use it offensively as well. I think it would be a good addition to be able to have that as a negative uh, effect. Mutton and crab meat. Like, do I want to damage fatigue? Whatever, sure, now I do. Um, uh, that might be enough to, yeah. That, uh, uh, we unover encumbered ourselves. 
Uh, I'm an idiot. I realize that there's a Daedric Bay of Battle Axe right here that I could have carried with me. Uh, all the way back. I, I made the trip anyways, but okay. Good job, me. You're, you're, you are a smart. Uh, long drawn out like analysis of, uh, of how our minds work and how uh, patterns can repeat themselves. Um, and uh, just, I guess, yeah, just, just blank on some of those, of these other things. Sure. Good job, me. Uh, illusion skills increased. That's good. Uh, so we've got, what do we have? Uh, near, near a stair, which is a, uh, alien ruin. Oh, what do we got over here? Oh, there's a skeleton. I'm not scared of skeletons. Skelebobs do not frighten me. Um, now if there's something else like nether lich and crap like that, eh, one on one I can, I can handle, but I'm not, uh, I'm not a big fan of groups of them. I mean, groups of anything uh, in oblivion, especially is, uh, not uh, generally great. Ah! Now I'm letting you hit me because I need I need something to repair. Ha! All right. Punched out the skeleton. Take his uh, arrows and you know his bone meal. Sure, why not? Uh, let's repair ourselves. Now, part of part of me is like, should I just start using uh, my disintegrate armor again? Part of me feels like I should, um, just because uh, like my armor is not breaking fast enough. Uh, but also, out in the wilderness, I don't exactly want to get uh, caught with you know damaged armor and stuff, so. It's not exactly, uh, we'll say the wisest choice. Uh, so we've, uh, let's see, we've gotten, um, uh, Nerea Stair, Varus Camp, uh, according to the compass, is there anything up further north? I don't think there actually is. I think it's probably just a big drop off, because it's, it's so close to the, um, like the border of the map, right? And yeah, and I don't see anything act actually on the compass, so. Wait a second. I'm invisible. Oh! Chameleon! Am I permanently... Am I permanently gonna look like I'm invisible? Huh! So Chameleon just straight up... So we've got Chameleon 30%. Uh, which I feel like we're already starting to get into that, that realm of, oh, here, here it comes. You found last chance camp? Oh, okay, there's one right here. Um. Is there anyone down there? But I feel like we're starting to get into that, uh, that, uh. That part of the game where Alexis is, her, her sneak is finally coming into play. It took long enough. Uh, it's probably the longest amount of time that we've gone without being, uh. Capable of just, you know, marching through the whole game unseen, um, and I, I realize that we're not there yet. Uh, we've still got, uh, like, it's only it's only thirty percent, but you know, we've got the the peekaboo spell. We can invis invisify ourselves at any point. We've got the thirty percent of chameleon now. That's constant effect. That's going to, uh, that's only gonna make things uh, that much easier for us uh, for sneaking. Because I'm sure, ju I'm sure, just that, even like just the thirty percent. Is going to put us. Uh, is going to be a a very welcome um, buff to our our sneak skill. Um, like I don't feel like I have to keep popping uh, peekaboo right now. I can just yeah. Let's uh keep marching along. See 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 that mountain lion. That freaking mountain lion. That mountain lion that I I'm 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 unhappy with. You know what? We're gonna go ahead and save. Hey, mountain lion. How's it going? It'd be uh, a shame if something were to just jump out of the bushes and get you. Wouldn't it? Yeah, that would suck, wouldn't it? Just marching along. You thought you were stealthy. You thought that you, that you were, were the, 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 the lord of sneak attacks. But guess what? You're not. 
Oh crap! It can see me with its own blood! Oh, 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 oh. Ah! It still hits harder though. It still hits harder. Oh wait! Did it actually lose sight of me? Did it lose sight of me? How does this chameleon work? Oof. Huh. It seemed a bit more hesitant. So I don't know if it actually had a hard time seeing me, but it definitely seemed more hesitant. Alright, uh, did that, uh, did that do enough damage? No, not really. Darn it. <laughs> hey, good news though, I am staying on top of my, uh, my equipment repairs. I am right on top of those. I am not mi- Like, when, when something gets damaged, oh, it's getting fixed right away. We- we are gonna get that last point of armor. Oh, what do we got up here? That looks like an ogre. Um, an ogre, yeah, yeah let's, uh, our health is not even at half. Uh, let, let's go fight the ogre. Who wants to go fight an ogre? I do. I do. I do. Alright, what, 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 what are we gathering here? Uh, fennel seeds. I would like some flax. Flax seeds. I remember getting a lot of flax seeds. I don't know where they grow. I wasn't paying attention to where I gathered them. I kind of took, uh... Uh... Took for granted that I could just, you know, I'd be manually traveling all over the place. I didn't expect I would actually give in to the, uh, fast travel so much. And, uh... <laughs> Yeah, I didn't think I would, uh, give in to the, the fast travel so much. Um, I thought I, I, I would just always be able to get ingredients that I wanted. Ah. Ow! Come on! <laughs> it's like, I can't even see your fists, how can I block you? Wait, is he backing off? Okay, no, he's coming back. He's coming back. I think he needed some time to to restore his uh, fatigue. Yeah, he hits hard. Yeah, I gotta be careful. He still he still hits pretty hard. Come on. Okay, I gotta say one thing. I kind of hate that I can't see my fists. It's actually messing up my rhythm. All right, you coming? Come on. Uh, ogre's teeth. We punched out some ogre's teeth. Go us. We're almost all over encumbered again. That's fine. That's fine. No, no, it's it's taking so long to get that last point. All right, so let's let's take a look at the map again. We've got there's a camp there. Uh, it does look like there's some ruins a little bit more directly to the south of us. Uh, can I see them from here? Yeah, yeah, they're right there, and we're over encumbered. That's a pain. Like I have to restore my agility afterwards. I lose one point of agility, but shock shield, seventeen percent, and restore fatigue. There's got to be something else that I can, uh... I mean, a day- you can use a whole Daedra Heart, but Daedra Hearts are also good for restore health. There we go, some more Chameleon Potions. Like, ten of those. Alright, we've just gotten under. Time for more exploring. Uh, yeah, I- I- uh, just like, uh, last time, I think I'll just go down, poke around a little bit. I, as we saw with the other place, I didn't even go inside. Like, I just- I just kinda wanna... Look around the outside, maybe fight one thing, get it to beat up my armor a bit more. Um, while I'm out here, like, just... As I'm seeing, uh... You know, plants and stuff, gathering ingredients... Uh, for- for- for alchemy. Uh, because, uh, alchemy's good. I- I like alchemy. You like alchemy? Alchemy's great. Like this wolf here, actually this wolf, you're probably, timber wolf, you know what, I'm, I'm probably, uh...
Yeah, I'm just gonna let you beat on me for a bit, honestly. Okay, come on. Get- 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 get the beating. It's just so weird, because it looks all distorted looking through my invisified fists. Come on, wolf. Ah! Hey, this is- this is gonna level up my block too, isn't it? Because technically I'm blocking it, right? Your block skill increased! Alright, that's probably good enough. <laughs> Wham! Um... That's one thing I've gotta say about- okay, I- 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 I do hate, uh, Oblivion's leveling system. Uh, I- I think it is bad- uh, poorly implemented. Um, but it does make some changes that, uh, are very welcome over Morrowinds, and, uh, one of those is being able to, uh, increase skill, uh, proficiency, uh, even on failure. And, because- and also the way, like, the combat system itself works. Like, having, uh, an active block, I think, is, um, much better. Uh, I think in- in Morrowind, it was... Kind of a pain, honestly. Like, training a block was kind of brutal. Because it was all- it was all RN, RNG. Now, I like that, uh, because I- I do like the RPG aspect of that. I like that- that differentiation, that, uh, you know, the player is not their character, the character is not their player, um, they should have different proficiencies at doing things, and that makes sense. Uh, at the same time, though, I feel like, um, other skills were easier to increase, um, than, than block, and I feel like there should have at least been a sort of a parity, uh, between, uh, how easy it is to raise certain skills. Well, this looks kind of gruesome. Got some human bones, got some blood out here. Is this, uh, have we come across a, another vampire's den? You know, I, I think I'm gonna do, honestly, uh, I'm gonna... Actually, I might leave that to you guys. Can you guys, you people out there, you fine oblivion lovers out there, tell me if there are any, is if there's anything you you've gotta see, uh, before curing yourself of vampirism. And if there's something that you've got to see, you've got to tell me about it so that I can go ahead and see it before I cure myself because I... Okay, I was not, um... Oh, I didn't look up. Oh, that's, that's... Okay. Remember when I was talking about the, the empathy thing? I think it kicked in right there. I was like, oh, that is, that is gruesome. That is, that is sad. Um... Wow, I'm... My, my, my mood has been, uh... My mood has been swinging a lot lately. Uh, uh yeah, L let me let me know because I'm I'm kind of like I'm kind of over the vampire thing. I'm like it, it's um, it's a lot less intrusive than it was in Morrowind, which is, I mean, it depends on your perspective. On the one hand, yeah, that's uh, it it, it makes it like it's, so it's not so bad that uh, you get it. Like you actually have to actively try and get it, basically. What, what, I, oh, I, I over encumbered. That's what happened. I'm like, why can't I move anymore? Yeah, you over encumbered again. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll make some, make some more potions in, in just a bit. Uh, for now though, I'm, I'm talking and I'm trying to make a point. I'm trying to get out of here. Uh, cause I'm not going to go in. Uh, I don't think I'm going to go in there. Uh, but, um, so like, I feel like with how easy it is to cure it and everything, like, it, or how easy it is to get it and then cure it, it's kind of, um, diminished in um, in what it is like yes it gives you a bunch of buffs but there's not really a downside and I I, I feel like it's kind of eh um, it's kind of underwhelming to me uh, so like it yes it's 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 more it's more convenient but as a result it's kind of lesser because it's, it's it should be a curse right Oh, it's a deer. You guys scared the crap out of me. Which is kind of, wow. I was able to run, like, sneak right past those deer at full speed. Huh. So just that 30% chameleon. Okay, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to play with that. I'm gonna have to see just how, how good a 30% chameleon actually is. Um, 
like the next enemy, I want to kind of run in front of them and see how close I have to get before they, they notice me. But you know, I think we'll have to do that next time. I am out of time, but so yeah, if if there's something that, you know, something you gotta see before curing your vampirism, please uh, let me know. Uh, I will I will wait uh, I will wait a little while before um, trying to cure myself. There's a uh, an enemy there probably. Um, we'll deal with him next time. Uh, and uh, th then uh, then uh, then then we can take a look at that and then get rid of it because it, I, I feel like it's just yeah whatever. <laughs> I'm ready to have my face back. <laughs> I may I, I hate having to load things twice each time. It's it's just annoying. But anyways, uh, yeah. If you liked the video, uh, if you liked me just I don't know going on about weird stuff while running through the wilderness and then forgetting where I was and I mean honestly the topic probably would have been better in its own standalone video but. Uh, well, here it is. Maybe maybe I'll make another one. That will just be in its own standalone video because not everybody watches Oblivion. I don't know. Um, we'll, we'll see. But, uh... Anyways, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, leave it a thumbs down. Either way, let me know what you thought in the comment section and leave your uh, things to do slash see as a vampire before you're curing yourself in the comment section below. Next time, we're gonna go to that camp, uh, probably punch some more things, and uh, continue uh, exploring... Um, this area, honestly, I, wow, coral's looking farther and farther uh, every time. Uh, every time I look at that map, um, well, well, we'll we'll see how far we make it. Hopefully, maybe we can speed up the pace a little bit. But um, yeah, all that next time. But until next time, I'd like to ask you all to game on.